me and Man Lucky Lands here for more. <clears throat> Grixis Shadow Action. That's right. I'm back for some more. Hope you guys are ready for it. My God, I hope I'm ready for it. Uh, like I said, my name's Lance. For more than following my screen, is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTJ, and Twitter. So if you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. And you can always follow me on Twitter. That's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube for the low, low cost of free to reap the benefits immediately. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage and most likely confusion. You won't regret it. Now, I do have to have this disclaimer, of course. I always got to have it. Uh, I am not responsible for a sudden increase in top decking only lands, being wrecked by Ragavan, or being un unable to find your sideboard cards. That's just something that starts happening to you. I don't know why. Had nothing to do with me. Um, so, as you can tell, I enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. I play Magic the Gathering. I prefer to play Modern. And when I play Modern, I play one of four decks somewhat coherently, depending on who you ask. Uh, those four decks currently are Jund, Abzan, Gruul Panza, and when you see this right now, Grixis Shadow. That's right. Um, I prefer to play mid range style decks. I just, you know, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. But it's what I like. Whoa! Feck Gage, thank you kindly for the subscription there. I really appreciate it. That is 10 straight months. You are a madman. Play Ponza, this deck is ass. My god, Gage, if you went in to the Dash Shadow Discord it, and you said something like that, oh my god, they would ban you. I mean, I have been reading some hilarious stuff in the Grixis Shadow Discord, and it has been awesome. There's been so many good quotes. I should have screenshot them. Uh, there was one guy who said anything that costs more than three mana is a waste. Um, or more than two mana that's a permanent is a waste. Um, I, I mean, there's been hilarious comments. You know, people uh, hastily shoving Murktide Regents in this deck. Imagine just throwing in four Murktides in this. You'd never get it out. I mean, the deck's just not designed to have Murktide in it. It's only got 19 lands. I'm pretty sure you need more than that to play a Murktide. It's just, I, I don't know. That was just not very good planning from some of the guys. But I like this build, and Ponza will be coming back sometime. I'm not sure when, uh, but we'll find out. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the weather. Oh, by the way, Gage, if you're still there, I forgot. You did redeem 500 points this day for me to blow a kiss at you, and I'm going to do it right now. There you go, buddy. This for you. All the way down in California. Hope it makes it all the way down there through the smog and everything. Uh, so, yeah, we got to take a look at the weather, of course. It's a cold day again. Weather for Evansdale. Conditions are cloudy with a temperature of 44 degrees. The wind is blowing from the west at 1 mile per hour. And the current humidity is 86%. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 43 degrees. Bleak Oblique is here. Is kind of like Street Wraith. No idea what to cut for it. Uh, I don't think we need to go back to that old Gurmag Angler Street Wraith. But I did like uh, Street Wraith. Yeah, I'm not really sure about Gigantha. I think Gigantha is just used. <laughs> One, it's a 5-5, it's a five, five, right? So you can find it as a 5-5 five, five and maybe play it, you know, when both players are stalled out, just top-decking lands. Um, and most people are just using it to be, uh, you know, what do they call that old mechanic loot with Kato? Uh, I think that's what people are doing. Uh, yeah, but uh, R Russell Wilson is no longer a Seahawk. Um, it's sad because, you know, Russell's been the quarterback for over 10 years now. Um, but I, I think it's, I think it's a, you know, a pretty decent trade. I mean, we, I'm glad we got all those first round picks. A lot of teams really neglect getting first round picks for their trades. You know, you see they get like multiple third and fourth round picks, but we got two first round picks. Um, yeah, Drew Locke. I mean, there, I think it was a good trade for Seattle, honestly. Uh, John Elway, John Elway in Denver really seems to have something into having older quarterbacks or seem past their prime. Like, he got Peyton Manning, and he did win a Super Bowl for him. Then he got Joe Flacco, and I was going to get Russell Wilson. Pey uh, John Elway likes to relive his own life through these quarterbacks because, you know, John Elway's last two seasons, he won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. In his last Super Bowl, he was the Super Bowl MVP, too. That's a great way to go out, right? Back-to-back -back Super Bowl champ and the Super Bowl MVP. Uh, of course, he lost three Super Bowls, right? Yeah, he lost three badly. But it was just John Elway versus the NFC champion. Um, but anyways, I think it was a good deal. 
Uh, people are probably going to hate me because they're nostalgic for Russell Wilson. But, you know, the, the Seattle will probably be pretty bad for a while. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so we are still at 17 followers on Twitter. We are still at 224 followers on Twitch. We're still at 361 subscribers on YouTube. So shout out to all 17 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 224 uh, followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 361 subscribers on YouTube. And I think this means to say two, but right now it says one Twitch subscriber. I think there's two, but we'll find out later. If it's only one, that's fine. Thank you kindly, whoever that one person is. Uh, which obviously must be Thet Gage. Oh, and Manure Butt still got his. So yeah, I think it's still two. Um, so, you know, uh, guys, giving me that money is just way above. Oh, there it is. Manure Butt, thank you kindly. Thank you very much. <laughs> Manure Butt, thank you so much there for the, how many months is that? Five months. Man, that is just insane. I mean, you add that kind of money up, you can go out and get a lot of good food at McDonald's. And for how much you guys have spent on me just poorly playing Magic. I really appreciate it, guys. I really do. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's awesome. Uh, so, anyways, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, you guys are just going well above me on the Call of Duty. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, so, this list here for Grixis Shadow, it looks a little bit different. I went off, but let me get the guy's name. Um... Why is that button on? Uh, where is he at? Burnt Taco 77. He is one of the Grixis guys um, that. Uh, hang on here. Nothing important. He is one of the Grixis guys uh, on the Discord that seems to be the most level-headed. And he just said, guys, this list is fine without lures. It just can't go super long anymore like the old list used to, but you can still win here. Uh, he went down to three Mistress Bottles, had two Bolts, which I think I like Bolt more than Push, especially since I think there's a lot less Death Shadow because people, you know, you know, whenever something gets banned, everyone just throws the deck. I, be I bet you a lot of guys sold their Grixis Shadow deck yesterday. Uh, sold their Rakdos deck, sold their Jun decks, whatever. Um, so this is the list he ran and went 5-0 with. I'm not saying I'm going to go 5-0. I think the only difference, there's some difference in the side, but, you know, sides are always personal. And, uh, let's see how well or bad I do today. Uh, Grixis, I have not done well with at all. I did have, the very first one I went 4-1, and one, and then after that I haven't gone, done better than 2-3, and three, I think. Multiple 1-4s, and fours. I'm just not very good with this style of deck. I don't know why, but it's the truth. Uh, but I hope all my live viewers here are doing real good. I hope all the viewers on YouTube watching this record are doing real good. Uh, I gotta let you guys know I will not be here tomorrow. There will be no uh, live stream uh, because I have way too much stuff to do. Uh, I gotta take care of some stuff. Uh, but I'll be back Thursday. Has Kaido been performing? Uh, I got it once yesterday and it was absolutely devastating for the opponent. And the guy who made this list, which is funny enough, he made this list after I tested um, the list yesterday. And, of course, I did terrible. I went 1-4. and four, He went 5-0. and oh. He did play against some decks that I would rather play against than I have to play against Living End twice yesterday. Um, but uh, he was saying the card was really good for him. And the idea behind this card, if it will work, there we go, is... So it's instant card advantage. You bring it in, you minus to it, right? Unless you already got an unblocked creature, you're, you're just going to swing in for, you know, with the, like I was doing yesterday with Ragavan. Ragavan was completely unblocked from the, the opponent for multiple turns because I just kept countering and killing whatever he tried to put out for blocking. Um, then it's just an immediately you just draw for free. It's just draw a card like Teferi Hero Dominaria. Um, but they, but what he was saying he was doing was he was minusing two to make the one one blue ninja creature that can't be blocked, and then it phases out the uh, Kaido just the first turn only. Important to note there, the very first turn it comes into the battlefield, it then phases out, um, and they'll never phase out ever again. And so then, if people want to waste removal on a one one token, that's totally fine. I mean, who wouldn't take that exchange? And if it, it, it does swing. It's automatically one damage, and you get to plus the Kaito again to draw a card. And it's minus seven, which I haven't heard anyone use yet. Is you could actually, uh, if you could get the one one through, it's unblocked. I gotta join here. You can, um, 
you can search and put on the field a death shadow. It's pretty nuts. Okay. What? Okay. Whoo, that's a mulligan there. How about we keep that one, huh, guys? That's a nice mulligan there. Before I get to mulliganing, which I obviously have to, it's time for another new beverage I haven't tried. I tried one yesterday that was a different flavor, but today is another different flavor. That's right, folks. I've got a C4 Starburst Cherry. And it's kind of cool. I don't think the other can have this design on the side. Or has, it's got all these Starbust, Starburst. That's pretty cool. But the C4, are they trying to say like C4 like the explosive? I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't know I had this caution on here. It says, caution, do not consume this product if you are pregnant or nursing, not intended for children, recommended for adults, store in a cool, dry place, do not freeze. What? Interesting. So I'm not sure. What, somebody was saying this was actually like supposed to be a workout drink, but it's got a lot of caffeine in it. I, aren't all workout drinks caffeinated now? Anyways, let's get in here. I've never had it before. Yesterday's was all right. Oh, that's the official start there when I crack open a beverage. That's damn good. I like it. Gage does, uh, does not have any sugar in it, but I'll still redeem your 100 points. Yeah, it's good. No, we're going to five. Okay, we can keep there. Uh, hmm. Put dress and drown on bottom. Replace sugar with caffeine. Pretty, pretty much. I mean, I really should. Because I'm always buying these energy drinks. Because there's like a new one every day. Like every day there's new ones. And um, and none of them have sugar anymore. It's really weird. Uh-oh. What is that? Uh, do I want to fetch first, or I just want to play Blood Crypt? It's hard to know with this deck. I guess we want to thin, right? Get another different Blood Crypt. See how long this uh, Dragon Rage Chandler lives. Probably not very long, right? Instant death! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got a mirror match. Right off the bat. Here comes a Ragavan. Oh, no. It's Jund. But here comes a Ragavan. <laughs> Maybe it's a Goyf. It's a Dark Confidant. Look at that. Holy shit. What the fuck? It's our boy Bob. He's got the right artwork too. That's the only artwork I ever use. Gross. All right, let, let's see what's happening here. Unholy Heat and Croxa. I mean, putting the croaks in turns the delirium on here. I wonder if I make him, if I discard, make him discard Croxa, and then he'll unholy heat. But he's drawing two cards, so I'm not sure what's right here. He cannot. No, he can cast Croxa. What am I talking about? Um. Yeah, I guess we go like that. Play Ragavan and see what Bob draws him. It's an Inquisition. 
So my hand is really fucked now. Now I still have two bolts in the deck. Oh. I still have, yeah, two bolts in the deck. That'll uh, maybe make things better here. How about some removal? Ah, damn. I think we just have to swing here and see if he wants to block. Because this drawing two a turn is just too brutal for me. All right. Now let's see if he gets that other land to uh, get croaks out. Okay. Wow. Um, I'm assuming Croaks is going to come out at any moment here and I'll just take three damage. Or not. God damn it. <laughs> I guess I should have uh, shocked there. It's okay. So we get bolted or pushed. Or abrupt decayed. Nothing happens to it? What's going on in the hand there? Is he sitting like blood braid elves? Yeah, that doesn't get croaks out. A basic forest does not do it. God, now I feel dumb. For not shocking. I guess we swing here for one. Yeah, let's hold on to K command here. Well, in shadow, you're supposed to blind shock. All right, here we go. So K command, I think we want, he's going to probably get a basic swamp here, which means Croaks will come out. So we'll let everything happen here. Make sure I understand what's going on. Oh, he gets a mountain instead. I haven't seen this mountain in forever. I used to know a guy who always played this mountain. Brings back memories, guys. So I can pick up Dragon Rage Chandler and discard Dragon Rage Chandler. You play the same basics? Nice, Manure, bud. <laughs> yeah, these are the ones from just regular Zendikar. Yeah, the Zendikar. These were really popular when they came out. I remember that. And he was really into this mountain. Uh, yeah, so I think here we want to go uh, black, red, blue. Uh, Got to return a creature that way. I don't. Maybe I do want to take three. No, because then I just die to croaks. Uh, return target creature or make them discard. I can return target creature, deal two to them. Yeah, they are. They're like in every set. Uh, I'm obviously returning a, a, a creature. I guess we just have them in top deck mode.
I am enjoying seeing this kind of like Boomer Jun comeback. You know, they discard a Thought Seize, which is good, honestly. So he can't really swing here. He's got to have... If he swings, I'll just let it happen. He's got to have, like, Lightning Bolt or a Blocker or something. Why did I let him... What? You don't like that I just made him discard? Well, that's pretty good. Why did I, because I would die here if I didn't. So, because if I top deck a, I have to hold whatever I have in hand unless I can kill this, right? Um... If I go to nine here, I have to draw like a non land, otherwise I just die instantly to Croxa. You know what I'm saying? Because the Croxa well no, I guess I can always block the Croxa, right? This is terrible. Okay. That is a decent draw to discard. Until they top deck uh, Abrupt Decay or Fatal Push. All right, let's see what they get here. Verdant Catacombs. How good is Bob for you? I should play it? Yeah, I guess I should have played it because then you have to get through it, right? Yeah. Now he's still scared to attack me. Because for all he knows, I'm holding a land in hand. And if he attacks me down to three, this is a 10-10. And then if he doesn't have like a removal here, which doesn't look like he does. But you're right, I should have played a Lion Rose in case there's also a Liliana the Veil. You know. All right, he's bringing it in. Do not let there be a bolt here. We take it. I'm at three. Oh, wow, a fucking scourge. All right, we died. Drown the lock is helpful, but I just died of this. No, wait, I don't die yet. Yeah, I do die. Let's just make sure, though, that I'm not missing something. Yeah, because I have to discard. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, this is why I can't win with this deck. This is why I can't win, because I can't f ever find ways to stay alive or win the game. So, normally, I can't find ways to stay alive, right? Um, or is it the opposite way? I can't find ways to win? With, like, Ponza? Like, usually with Ponza, I can you know, find ways to win. But here I can't, you know, I can't find ways to win. You know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's just, it's doubly hard here, this deck. It's just incredibly hard to try and win with this thing. Like, I don't feel any stupider in my life playing Magic when I play this deck, but I keep trying, I keep trying it for reasons unknown. 
kind of like cling to dust. Uh, terminate, maybe okay. Probably take out a couple drowns and one inquisition. And the reason you take out the drowns I brought in the Nihil spell bombs. And uh, where'd it go? It was a cling to dust. Um, I could bring in terminate as well, but I don't know if that's necessary because I have four on Holy Heat, so hopefully I can get delirium. Oh, we got a dab here. <clears throat> Thank you, Gage. If I play the Ragman, you think I would have won? Maybe. I don't know if that's true. Well, no, I guess so, because he wouldn't have swung. I would have sat there, and if he would have swung, I would have blocked with Ragavan, and then I could. Yeah, I guess you're right. I would have won, yeah. I think you're right. I think so. It's why I'm bad, guys. I, I, I literally can't win with this deck. I mean, people tell me it's the best deck in the game. I don't know about now. After Lurus is banned. But I, I, I've won, like, I don't even know. Not very many matches. It is hard to play. I mean, what's his name? Jim Davis. Um, Jim Davis, he, uh, you know, Jim Davis is a really good player. And he says he, he literally can't win with this deck either. I mean, he's just, like, confused as fuck all the time. Uh, I guess we keep. I mean, it is a mixture of spells, one threat. We got a sideboard card. I mean, let's go. Really good if you master and shit if you don't. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, this deck just always seems so bad whenever I play it, but I have to tell myself, no, it's not the deck it's me i'm absolutely like not good with it like i'm questionably good with the other decks that i play but this deck just destroys me just absolute unending destruction all right cool that is going to get uh probably unholy heated because these are only doing two right now oh my god Stop. They put one on top there. So, he probably knows he's going to get hit by this Ragavan. So he saw him drawing that, that's fine. Swing in for two. Get myself a treasure token, I hope, unless he's got it. <laughs> something I'm not aware of. Take a stomping ground and play this spell bomb. He, yeah, I agree, Lion Rose. And if he plays like Goyf here or something, I can I can kill the Goyf. Next turn looks like a slam dunk for Expressive Iteration. I love Expressive Iteration. You know, you guys have seen the last week or two how bad it's failed me at times, and other times how good it's been. I mean, I don't know who was here live when I got four Mistress Bobbles in a row. That was pretty awesome. Wow. 
Wow, he did himself low. Okay. I can kill both those. I would have to like, what order do I want to do this in? I can unholy heat. No, I guess it doesn't matter. There's already a drain rate Chandler in there. Okay. All right. Let's go. Unholy heat killing Chandler. Hope to God I have enough mana to do all this that I want to do. Lord, this is getting dangerous. Come on, land. No, 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 that's wrong. What am I doing? I need to bolt this right here. Bolt this. Swing with Ragavan. Get my treasure. Take a Terminate. Um, now play Expressive Iteration. There we go. Uh, hand, bottom... Exile, play this, say yes, bobble, look at what they're drawing. It's a nurturing peatland, and let's go. Look at that, guys. I thunked it a little bit. I'm probably just going to exile their graveyard this turn. Just... Get more stuff. Do they have another shadow? Big brain plays. That's right, Gage. Massive brain plays. Huge brain. We got a K command here. That's some bullshit. Fuck, you ass. God damn it. <laughs> Why do they always have the right cards? Ugh, fuck. I can't even get my... Uh... My... Uh... What was my reason to use Spell Bomb? Just to, in case they threw down a Goyf or something, I guess. Uh, yeah, I just have to pass here. Wow. Yeah, I know. I just want to draw cards. I just, I never foresee things. That's why I'm living the terrible life I live when it comes to Magic the Gathering. Interesting. All right, going to 10. I do have delirium. I 
to Bob Fines. Bob has been very good for the opponent. Swing, they not be known at two. What is the plan here? I have to block now they play the wooded foothills. Yeah, that can get them all the way down to... Uh, All right, at least I may be able to kill the shadow. Wow. What did I say? Six card types? Jesus. No, this won't work either because the stupid shadow, he can make it into... He had to fetch shock. I wonder if it's worth it. I mean, I guess I can top deck bolt. I still have two bolts left. Oh, you're right, Lion. Yeah, Bob. Bob can get him killed here if he goes to two. They don't run counter magic, so a bolt should be lethal. Oh, he didn't. Wow. He actually realized the danger he was in. <laughs> All right. I guess we leave this one on the field, right? Let's see what Bob finds him. Inquisition, all right, he would have been at one if he would have gone down to uh, three. Finds another peatland. So it doesn't really matter what I do here with this spell bomb because the goif is just going to be massive. He he, it'll only be a three four if I exile his his uh um if I exile my stuff, but then I hurt my own dragon rage Chandler. But then the Chandler just has to block this anyways. Um, I almost wonder if it's better for me to get rid of my own stuff. I wonder if maybe I should do that during my draw to see what I draw. I'm going to do it after my draw. Yeah, that's why. That's why, folks. That is why. All right. Uh, return target creature card. Uh, deal two damage to the opponent. How about a shadow? Deal two damage to you. Please don't have like surgical extraction or extirporate or yes. Yes. All right, let's see if Bob can uh, kill him. Come on, Bob. Non-land card. 
non-land for Bob. Unless he bolts his own Bob here, which it looks like he's going to. Yeah, he unholy eats Bob. So this thing will be a 4-5. Bobby? Like Bobby Hill? I don't know you. That's my purse. That's what he used to yell and he kicked the guy right in the crotch. God, this swing is so disturbing. I obviously have to block, but there is a weird world where my shadow, my shadow can survive. I have to like exile my own because right now this would be a four five. If I if I exile here, it's still a six seven. So I guess I do my own. As crazy as that is. Wow. I guess it's a Ragavan. He's going to steal Ragavan. Damn it! <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have drawn there. Well, I'll go to four now. What? He's got more? Oh, he's picking up his shadow. But he can't play his shadow. Probably a land. Oh my god, an expressive iteration. Come on! Inquisition and Shadow. Okay. Uh, I know, Lion. I want to drop both so bad. Uh, so, hand, bottom, exile. Give me that death shadow. Play my death shadow. This is an interesting game, huh, guys? Now, <laughs> that's a quality draw there. We got the swamp. DRC, okay. We swing here, he has to block. That was a damn good expressive iteration. Did we get him? All right. Yeah, no, engineered explosives, that's right. All right, going to game three. Opponent said GG, He the opponent enjoyed that game. Um. Yeah, the only card I'm really concerned about since he showed it was the, um, that one guy, the Scourge. I almost wonder if he just take out Drown the Lock just completely and just bring in the Terminates. 
Because I cannot deal with that Scourge, probably, unless I have Terminate. Um, I guess Dress Down can deal with it. It can auto-kill it, right? I think I like this. Drown the Lock is such a liability when I'm using Nihil Spellbomb. You like Drown? I don't like Drown because I have Nihil Spellbomb. Imagine how bad a top deck Nihil Spellbomb will be after I just Nihil... I mean, a top deck Drown when I just Nihil Spellbomb them. And they have no cards in their graveyard. When I could have top deck Terminate instead. I mean, there are obvious good reasons to have Drown in case, you know, a Liliana comes down or something. You know, you know I can try and counter it. But Spellbomb D's nuts? Well, I've, I've Spellbombed a lot in my life. Spellbomb's my favorite graveyard hate. Um, Relic Virgin is a good one, too. It just doesn't fit. The only deck it really fits that I play um, generally is um, Ponza. I guess it works in Abzan. But I still, since I have black mana, I mean, why not run Nihil Spellbomb? Get to draw a card and exile a graveyard? I'm down. Uh, sure. We'll keep. And try to bolt the shit out of everything that fucking moves. If it's a creature, it gonna die. Uh, I think the idea here is just in case they have Ragavan, we don't want to get too crazy here. That would suck to bolt this and then they just run roughshod with Ragavan all of a sudden. Blood Crypt. What's everyone's favorite uh, Shockland art? There's three. The three from the main sets. None of the promos or nothing. Because I don't know those. But like you have the original ones. Then you have the Return to Ravnica. And then you have Ravnica Guilds. Or whatever the hell the newest set was. Return to Ravnica. That's mine as well, Manure Bud. Those are by far my favorite. Uh, okay. Secret Lair. That doesn't count, damn it, what I just say. Uh, yeah, Thought Seize, target you, target opponent. Uh, I think I like taking the K command there. <laughs> I think that was a pretty easy pick there. <laughs> what, uh, why would you take the, the Death Shadow when they got a K command in hand? Imagine how, uh, guys, I'm not great at the game, but I ain't that bad. Holy fuck. That would be insane. Dark Confidant. I guess get Steam Vents here and bolt that. Okay, so I can't miss a land being able to play Shadow here. Expressive. So we know the we know exactly the three cards he has in hand: Peatland, Swamp, Death Shadow. Um. God, these are all pretty good. Uh, probably hand bottom exile I mean I don't know I'm gonna get watery grave here play my 4-4 shadow I'm not scared of his shadow because I have terminate
All right, guys. What's up, Wagner? How you doing, man? What is that? Why is that here? What? All right. Okay, um... Shock, kill, make them discard. The only way I get really punished here is if they have like a Ragavan. Discard two damage. Probably discard the Swamp. So... Now we we got arguments in chat if I should use the the K command or not. Yeah, they got rid of their swamp. He does not have unholy heat ready yet. Yeah, you go black. There you go. Wow, two shadows. Fuck. That's interesting. Okay, well we play the we play the Kaito and we minus the Kaito. Play land and attack. Why would I attack here? I guess if I, I go down to four, I'm a nine, they have to block, I suppose. They'll just throw this underneath there. And then I die to this coming back. Like, that doesn't make any sense. What am I missing? Attack, they block. I think I like playing Kaido. Yeah, I can block. I can kill both shadows here. I can kill both shadows if they try to attack. Valhalla attack? I mean, I don't want to go to Valhalla. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I haven't done what I need to do yet. Uh, I go to four here. All right, let him surveil. This, of course, could be bad if this gets flying. It, of course, does. I know the timer. Is 
Just have to terminate here. Yeah, it's got to terminate there. If I killed the shadow... I mean, they can't... I guess they can't attack with their shadow now, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a terrible play. I need to kill the shadow. I just don't know what I'm doing, guys. I just don't have a clue what I'm doing. I, I just don't. I, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. It's very upsetting. It's very upsetting. It's very, very upsetting. I'm a piece of shit. Funny enough, that keeps me alive for one more turn. Unless they bolt here. Yeah, all right. Okay, guys, I I'm terrible at this game. I'll be back in a moment. I, I, I just, I'm so bad. still one or not we killed the one shadow our shadows would have traded the DRC would have came in I've been at one I gotta swing back for one I would have top decked yeah it wouldn't have worked yeah I would have top decked well I guess I would have top decked again because I would have I top decked the blood crypt I would have swung with the 1-1, one, one, plus the, uh, the, um, 
the Kaido, draw another Kaido, play the new Kaido, plus that one. Hopeless fucking endeavor. Absolutely fucking hopeless. Alright, uh... No. I guess... Put polluted delta on bottom. Oh, it's this is that uh that invoke despair deck. I'm sure that's what I'm facing here. Defile? Swamp, you control. See, I have no idea what to take with this against this deck. Um, I guess they take Ballista. Additional cost cast a spell. You may exile any number of black cards from your hand. Uh, maybe it's the March. Well, next turn they can take, they can play Ballista. They can't really play anything else. So I guess I'll take Ballista. Loading up on shadows here. Take the march, I suppose. He's got three swamps now. Expressive. Uh, hand bottom exile. Get another blood crypt. Not seize. Say go. I only have two car types, that's funny. Here's a 6-6. Six, six. Here's also a 6-6. Six, six. Now, this Relic of Genesis is pretty fucked up against my Dralmalox. Like, not gonna lie. Like, that's pretty messed up. That's like the worst card you could ever see. Take a big hit there. Wow, they top deck damnation. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, this won't even work. I can't even save them because of the, the fucking relic. I mean, it's just everybody always has everything perfectly for me. It's fucking frustrating. Like, not only did they top deck damnation, but they have to have the relic to stop the fucking drowning locks. Just, yeah. I guess I should have been ultra fucking conservative and played one Death Shadow. Because, you know, that's how you win slowly, right? Slow and steady wins the race. Or how about you didn't play both Death Shadows, therefore you couldn't beat them fast enough. We make them use 
the motherfucking relic as well. That way, at least right now, I can get both my shadows back. Right? So yeah, he exiles everything, but my shadows will still manage to stay in the graveyard. So maybe I can pick him up with Colligan's Command or something. Something stupid. That's a good draw. That's the wrong red. I don't want to use that one. Karn the Great Creator. I cannot cast that. I, this is like the third time in like a few days I played against it. I think it beat me once. But I've beaten it once as well. Wow. Just why not top deck another different Karn after I just exiled this one? Again. Frustrating as fuck that this shit happens to me. Like, what in the hell is going on here? So is this mana one or is it two? It's obviously two because I can't do anything to it. All right, I mean, the game's over. I can't activate my treasure tokens. And bolt here. Okay, let's see if I can figure this out. Um, so Kaido to hand. No. Bolt this. Yeah, I, I think that works. So Kaido to hand. This on bottom, this on exile. Kill Karn. And then go from there. See if there's anything I can drown. They have one, two, three, they have seven mana. So they can pump Ballista once. Okay. Probably going for, um, yeah, Cabal Coffers. So now you can go one, two, tap, and then add one. So one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then you can still pump it once, I guess. We just got to kill this thing. I mean, I, I've just got too much stuff. Well, 
Why didn't I kill on end step? I don't know. Just maybe I could counter something more important. I don't know. Uh, see if this gets through. Why is this so much black mana? What's happening here? All right, it's been defiled. At least I have unholy heat for um, for a car or something. Yep. So we let him minus, see what he gets. Might be another ballista. Yeah, it's liquid oil coating. Wow, another different Kaito. Okay. Kaito. Well, I should plus him here or minus. I think I like minusing, getting a threat, and then I get a free draw every turn. If the ninja gets an attack. I like how the loyalty counter does not fade away. It's just as bright and vibrant as ever. All right, drown the log. Very nice. All right, swinging ninja. Go. All right, now plus, draw a card for free. Man, that is a lot of mana. This is gonna be a massive ballista. All right, they're at seven. Look at this drawing. Still nothing. I certainly like that draw. Get in there, ninja! And he'll take five damage if he if he goes lock lane here. 
Well, I guess no, no, he'll take four. He played a land. God, that's a lot of swamps. Damnation. He tried it once. No. What the fuck? Guys, what the hell? The fuck is that? What? All right, good, good shit, good draw. It, it's a weird deck, it's a very strange deck. All right, swing in. We take a swamp, man, that's so much swamp. And another Ragavan, I could play another Kaito here, <laughs> play another different Kaito, but I feel pretty safe. Well, no, I could play Kaito, draw again, try to get like, maybe that's right. Keep this one plus again. Croxa? Uh, I guess. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I agree, Bleak. Uh, yeah, the Kaido, but the Kaido showed its worth there because it kept letting me try to find stuff, you know? Um, so we need Spell Pierce. For sure, for sure. Um, he did flood out hard. He flooded hardcore. Alpine Moon. Um, Lightning Bolt is questionable. I could take out a Croxa. I know, yeah, one Walking Ballista, I was dead. Apparently he only has the one Ballista. Um... I could take out a couple drowns since they show that they have graveyard hate. I, I think that's better. Got the spell pierces to replace them, anyways. Alpine Moon to name Cabal Coffers and uh, Urborg. Another quality mulligan here. Man. These are just so bad. I'm going to five. I'm keeping there. There we go. Heat Ragavan. Okay. Bloodiest of Crips. Chandler, Bobble, Surveil, put in grave. What are you drawing? It's a swamp. Boy, they draw a lot of swamps. I wonder what the point of having that many basic swamps is. Like, I get it with the whole, you know, you're trying to get, uh, you know, like, Maybe like walking ballista or something. They take thought seas. Okey doke. That is a lot of polluted deltas I suddenly have. 
What a fucking joke. Hit him for three. Hit him for one. Or hit him for three still. All right. <laughs> Turned on delirium. There we go. <laughs> right on. But I mean, it's still a good play for him because I don't get to steal from him. I don't get to accelerate mana. Man. I'm just drawing like nothing but pairs here. Swing four five. Steal a Buseju who shelters all. Wow. <laughs> that is an interesting uh why is I have not seen this card since Kamigawa. That is such a strange card for this deck to have. What? I guess this guy's just gonna die, it looks like. I mean, he is, like, his deck is doing nothing. Barring, you know, probably another damnation or something. Well, Calibrated Blast makes a little more sense. Look at that! I have all four Polluted Deltas today. All fucking four in this game. I'm only 14 cards deep. This is insanity. I take an expedition map. I have no use in playing the expedition map. Well, I guess I do. I, I can I can surveil with it, right? Uh, you know, I mean, is that worth it, worth my time surveilling? I, I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Uh, blood crew. Uh, I'll put it on top just in case they damnation me here. Yeah, there's literally no downside. I guess not. I guess I didn't need to fetch shock. All right, here comes the damnation. Where's it at? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> what I tell you guys. All right, we want to draw the, uh, the channeler. Take a Relic or Progenitus? Alright, I'll cast that too. Put in the graveyard. Another different damnation? So I'm going to do it for an enchantment and a planeswalker, so I should get down to four. Okay, so I sacrifice here. Yeah, I'm at four. I wonder if I should just... Let 
I'm gonna try it. Get a land out. Didn't work. Didn't work at all. Um, man, I was really hoping for like Croaks or something. I can't even cast that. Oh my god. Please don't kill me here somehow. Ballista would be like a 2-2. Two, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. You play the swamp. The whole reason I'm not doing Relic here is because I'm trying to see if I can't find... Did I take Croaks out? I don't even know. Maybe I did. No, I didn't take Croaks out. Why would I take Croaks out? Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. All right, holy crap, I won one. That's two days in a row that I defeated, or not two days in a row, but I, but I have defeated this Invoke Despair more than it's defeated me. I think it's an interesting deck, but it's extremely inconsistent, it looks like. Every time I've played it, they've always struggled to find their Invoke Despair combo. You know? Like, I like mono black decks. It's just, I think you should just do mono black mid range. It, do they consider that mid range? I mean, it can't be mid range. It's, they're not playing any creatures. Like, what if you tried, like, mono black aggro from Pioneer and Modern, but you had even better creatures? Like, I guess Dark Confidant would be in there. Right? Death Shadow would have to be in there. Maybe Scourge. You know, um. I think you could possibly get it to work. You have Turok Dread Cantor. That'd be a good one. Plague Engineer. There's a lot of good cards that aren't available in Pioneer that are in Modern. You make a Mono Black, right? Uh, that is a halfway decent mixture of spells and lands, so I guess I'll keep. Their deck was horrible. Come on, they like drawing their fancy Japanese swamps. That's always interesting. Because that's what that means. Phyrexian Obliterator, that's right. I There used to be a guy in my locals that would play that. He loved Phyrexian Obliterator. Um, well, I guess we go Blood Crypt. Thoughtseize. What am I playing against now? Target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each artifact or enchantment you control. Fuck. Um, and then it does it again. Exile this saga, return it. It's the, uh, it's the one, one. What is the, I gotta look. It's a zero, zero. And it's an enchantment itself. Do we just take the frog might? So this counts itself, so one, two, three. So these will be four fours, and they'll knock me down to nine. I guess we take the frog might then. 
All right, Gage, thanks for showing up. Thanks for the resub, man. Ten months. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Good evening down there in California. Uh, hug uh, Gavin Newsom once for me, just to say we support the uh, government. And uh, I don't know if you like him or not, but, you know, just show that you respect the government. It's kind of gross. That's a... Oh, target creature. I completely read this wrong. It's target creature. Okay. Okay. Well... I think uh, Unholy Heat looks pretty good here. I do have to worry about this transforming, of course. Just, you know, a friendly 6-6. Six, six. Plus one, plus one. So now this one will come in, be one, two, three, four, be the same thing, be a five, five. Or worse, a six, six. I got a block. All right, hopefully, uh, <laughs> what ass, what terrible ass. Wow. So this thing will come in uh, tap, I mean, with summoning sickness. Pretty sure. Yes. We can drown and block. Okay, that's helpful. At least I have a way to block the flyer now. Let's 
Seacrum Coast. Yeah, he probably wants my uh, my guy to attack, right? I, I really don't understand these terrible draws right there. I, I have to attack. I'll have to block. Yeah, no way to get off Delirium. Is there any reason to play Thoughtseize and Surveil? I, I don't know. I go to one, and he's had to find removal. I guess we get to swing in here. I could really use a Colligan's command, you know. That would be uh, about as good as it gets. Croxa would be good. I'd enjoy Croxa. You know, how about uh, some Death Shadows, too? Just a bunch of shadows. Alright, Ragman going underneath the bus here. Under the bus you go. All right, what can I find here? Uh, you know, uh, Lightning Bolt? Just another different land, guys. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. I have to swing. He let it come through, then he just swings. Absurd. 16 cards into the deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lands. Fucking goddamn, dude. That is terrible. That is shameful. Uh, Engineer Explosives. Colligan's Command. I'm not the biggest fan of, like, Thoughtseize here. I mean, I guess it's okay. It's because I get everything out of their hands so fast that I just I feel like this thought seize is such a negative thing. Maybe I leave a couple thought seize in because at least they they help the death shadow strategy. But there would have been a lot better for their inquisitions at the end. So what is this deck? Another affinity? A different version of affinity? Uh, I'm just going to go for Steam Vents here. I'm going to play Ragavan because I might be able to get Ragavan through. You know, a lot of people say I should side Ragavan out against these type of decks because it's so tough to get them through. But my idea is that I already have an Unholy Heat. I can Unholy Heat their blocker. Hopefully they don't have more than one. See they're drawing Treasure Vault. The bobble replaces itself with Unholy Heat. Nice. I'll have Delirium pretty fast here.
Yep, pick one. My god, that's a lot of land draws. Swing for two. Get my treasure. Steal a spring leaf drum. That's good. I like taking that. The sacrifice, you gain three life. Okay. I don't have ever seen anyone do that before. No swing, huh? There's a K command. Okay. So let's go red, blue, expressive iteration. We got if you control three or more artifacts, exile it. Um, I don't really want this exiled. Let's tap it, it's good. I've never seen this card before. Dispatch? Wow. So I can get Death Shadow to be a 1-1, one, one. so uh, Hand, Bottom, Exile. And there we go. It's a 1-1 one, one Shadow. Okay, that was a pretty good draw. Okay, we're gonna go red, black, black. Deal two damage, destroy target artifact. Okay, destroy target artifact, deal two damage, surveil. They're just going to exile everything, right? Yeah, put in the graveyard. I guess that was dumb. Eh, it's not dumb because All right, swing for five. Don't need that. Okay, so clearly they just want to make a token. A token would be a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, that was a good draw again.
put in graveyard. We take six, take a cranial plating. Play Kaido. Put in graveyard. Plus Kaito. Did I play a land this turn? I think I want to save that for next turn. There's no reason for me to play this now. I don't think. Maybe a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I think that, uh, I'm not sure what artifact they get for one here, or zero. You get Pithing Needle for Kaito, but I mean, they gotta figure something out here. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Grave. That's a really good one there. Engineer Explosive wins. Um, hand. Bottom. Exile. Cast for. Zero. Uh, I guess Graveyard. Yeah, I killed my own tokens, but whatever. All right. All right. Kaido looked good there again. I mean, I'm just saying I do like this card. Then you dig deeper and everything. I I'm down. Uh, I wonder if you bring an Alpine Moon for Urza Saga. Um, dress Down is very good here. Uh, Drown the Lock is a little bit suspicious, I think, now, because of seeing the relics. So I'll bring in the Alpine Moon and see if I can't name Urza. So we got another Affinity. It's been a lot of Affinity lately. Blood crypted up. Same strategy as last game. Wow. Gross. Oh my god. Probably just dead as hell here, right? <sighs> Probably had to block here. All sorts of terrible shit.
Probably going to get Shadow Spear again. I would assume another Shadow Spear. We could be Pithing Needle naming Polluted Delta. That'd be absolutely insane. Maybe I should have fetched in response. That would be really, really bad if it's polluted. Uh, if they name Polluted Delta the Pithing Needle. What am I really thinking here? Nope, just another different, uh... What is this guy doing? Ginger Brute. Um, sure. Okay. Damn it. I think we still want to just play Alpine Moon here. Expressive Iteration, then Alpine Moon. And I'll have to block that Construct token. Okay. Um, hand, Bottom, Exile. And then Urza Saga. There's a saga. And yep, like I said, we're on blocking duty of the Ragavan. Ha <laughs> ha! They top deck a land there. I was like, come on, no land, no land. Wow, draw two. Yep. That's just till end of turn. Can only block this. Two damage, destroy target artifact, and unholy heat. Unfortunately, I exiled my basic swamp. This is incredibly bad. So I need to destroy target artifact, deal two damage to whichever one they pick with the whatever. And then I'd have to like unholy heat the vault scourge, vault scourge. Uh, yep. Okay.
Destroy target artifact. Deal two damage. Need like another K command. I, I can't win anyways. There's just too many flyers now. I guess another K command would be all right. Wow, a DRC. Okay. All right. Um, so red there. Equip it's two. Okay. And shadow here. And uh, let's see if I can survive another turn. Ah, that's, that's not half bad, because that means I can block here, block, yeah, no, I, it just not, it doesn't do enough. I need, like, uh, I need, like, engineered explosives or something. There's no way for me to win. Colligan's command. Deal two damage. Destroy target artifact. That just makes things even tougher there. Okay. Couldn't defeat them either. At least I'm winning more games being more competitive today. I mean, yesterday was just a slaughter. You know, I mean, just good lord. 
So one and two. Uh, it's going to be another three-hour league, it looks like. Hope everyone's enjoying this. At least it's a little bit more competitive than what it's been. Nope. A lot of mulligans with this deck. It, it's really strange. No, down to five. Down to four. All right. Uh, bottom. Bottom. Am I going first? No. Uh, I guess bottom. They start with seven, I keep with four. Seems fair. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't get this at fucking all! How I always draw so poorly! Uh, I guess it's Blood Crypt and we... I just don't really know. I don't really know. Do we thought sees here? I mean, what's it matter, right? I think if I play Ragavan, I just lose out. So I think we just, we go like this. Let's see what they got. Magus of the Moon, Clothis, Karn the Great Creator. I mean, all that looks really fucking bad. Um, we gotta take Magus, even though I'm dead to any of this. I should just scoop. I don't really understand why the deck performs so badly sometimes. I don't know why they check themselves. Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm just going to die here anyways. So we swing in. Take their sprawl. Try to take this Karn, I guess. Never mind, there's two of them. What the fuck? Come on, motherfuckers. God fucking shit. I have no way to remove Clothis. I have none. Come on, opponent. Seven, five. Red.
I guess they just want to play the card now. Come on, dude. Why the fuck are these people so fucking slow? Over a minute to pick an artifact? What is going on? This is frustrating. Like, just people have no respect for time. Over one, almost two minutes now waiting for this. What a motherfucker. What a motherfucking bastard to do this. Just to sit here the entire time. There we go. There's Trinisphere. There you go. You figured it out. You can't even cast it this turn. I guess he's looking. That's for Croxa? <laughs> I mean. Oh, no. That's Trinisphere. I'm thinking of uh, Torque Orb. Well, I'm glad to exile that. I mean, that's fine. If I could top deck a shadow here, that'd be pretty awesome. It's an unholy heat. Say no. Dash Ragavan. Wow, they actually had their own fucking bull. Okay, I'm done. Whatever. Fuck off. Fuck you. Absolutely gross. Holy Heat, Express Federation. What a fucking joke. I really don't have a lot here. Um, Colligan's Command looks good. Drown looks good still. Maybe Cling to Dust to try and fight through Clothis sometimes. I think that's okay. Lightning Bolt should be fine. Um, man. What do you take out? Drown is the only card I can get around Clothis with. Except technically Dress Down also can get around it by get, making it lose in, indestructible. I'm not sure if it goes back to being an enchantment then. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, maybe Drown. Dress. Thoughtseize. Uh, maybe just an Inquisition. Try some of that. My opponent just disconnected too. What the fuck? Well, it's a good time for him to disconnect, I guess.
This just takes fucking forever, man. How long have these matches been? The first match was 50. The next match was 28. And the second match was 35. Sure. Blood Crypt. Why wouldn't they have Bolt? It doesn't make any sense. Why would they not have that card? That's a good card for me to draw, though. I need to try and find a basic here, I feel. Ren? Why is he playing Ren now? Okay. Okay, I can get a basic swamp here at least. That's the one important thing. Um, hand, bottom, exile, play, and I can get a swamp. See this magus come down. This sucks. I think we need to bolt that, right? Man, that mag is coming down, though. What? Oh. Well, I, I do have another lightning bolt, so if, if that's what they're running is Magus, I can bolt the Magus. Can't drown the Magus yet. Yep. Yeah, they may be looking at that. Okay, that's a good. Get my swamp now. We got a two two. Sure. I reckon. I 
I do have to worry about this Ren and Six. Counter that. All right. I'm not really sure um, how to go from here. What is the XL for? Um, wow. Do I drown that? I, I think I have to at this stage. I'm just trying to keep this thing alive. Why would he do that? What the hell is that for? Uh, yeah, swing in, hit that Ren. Got a good attack army now. Hopefully I'll have anger the gods. That would be particularly brutal. This is Fury. Uh, Pyro. Okay. I mean, if Fury would only kill one, they'd probably want to kill the Shadow, honestly. I don't know. Well, maybe they'd want to kill... You know... I don't know why they're doing that. They're just helping the Shadow. Strange play. I guess they, they know I'm going to kill their Ren and Six most likely. That's a good one. Put in Grave. Put in Grave. Wow. Uh, hand. Bottom. Exile. Nah, I do like that one. Put on top. Put on top. Let's see what they're drawing. It's a basic forest. So yeah. Uh, attack, attack Ren, attack player. Might have a bolt in hand still. Now I do not want to fetch here. So even they leave the shadow unblocked. Um, Okay. Because I want to draw that Colligan's command. I thought I was going to sneeze, but I, I guess I don't have to.
okay? Uh, I'm just gonna swing here with everybody, right? Yeah, make them discard. I'm getting close. I got bolts. I'm a little scared to go down uh, too rapidly here, so I'll just grab another one of these. Say no. I'm kind of in a sweet spot here that I like to be in with shadow. That's a really good draw. If I unholy heat here, is this lethal? Yes. Six, nine, twelve. Yep. Okay. All right. Because they cannot get the pyro tokens. Put in grave. Grave. their draw well they they don't have like weather the storm all right guys I hear my dogs out there so make sure here I brought in cling to dust K commands and uh, yeah I'll submit deck and I'll be right back I gotta go check on my dogs Dogs are happy, and I guess I'll keep here. It's a little bit rough. <sighs> yeah, I gotta get watery grave, I think, there. Depending on what happens here. Arbor Elf? Well, I guess we just unholy heat that. That makes the things a lot easier on me.
Yep, that's not good. I guess watery grave. Take one swept heat. Now it's like, I guess we play. Inquisition and see what we find. Uh, I think I like taking lightning bolt here. Not that powerful of a hand so far. I would love, 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 love to get a swamp here. So we know three of the four cards in hand, right? No, we don't. We know two of the four. One's a Wren. Yeah, I guess we go Blood Crypt. There's no way for me to put Delirium on. Forest. I think we just stop here. I don't think I want a thought seize. Right? We know the running six in the mountain, but there's two cards we don't know about. No, one's a windswept heat, so there is one card we don't know about. Okay, there's a car we didn't see. I guess we clear the way with Thought Seas first. See what's going on over here. Oh, just a ton of lands which is actually really really bad because the Ren can plus now right, we just keep dashing All right, cool. Took a Karn. All right. 
So we actually need to hit this <laughs> red and six before they can make the emblem. Oops, damn it, I clicked the wrong card. Alright. Alright, there's my basic swamp. That's really good, actually. I really wonder what the deal is here. Uh... Sure, we'll swing first. Even though there could be a bolt waiting. There isn't. Take a seasoned pyro. As much as I want to play that, I'm not going to because I need a K command in their draw step. Um, and I don't think Thought Seize is worth it right now still. So in their draw, I'm going to do two damage, make them discard. Forest. Pick up the forest, play the forest. Croxa. I guess. Croxa. And then escape Croxa. I mean, they mostly have lands in hand. Wow! Yes! All right! All right! Wow! Holy crap! All right, guys, we're gonna try and go for the three and two here. Is it possible? Is it possible that I can actually maybe, maybe have a winning record? I'm just happy I'm, not, I'm gonna get some points back. Oh man! Can you believe it? There's some points maybe coming back to me. Another three-hour session. Hope you guys are exciting or enjoying this exciting Grixis and Shadow action. I think I'm finally learning how to play this deck again. And, of course, as soon as I learn it, I won't be playing it anymore. <laughs> you know, well, not ever again, but, you know, I plan on playing Abzan next week and then going back to Ponza. For how, no how long, I don't know. But I know people want to see Ponza... And, uh, and it will not be Karnza. I know that's all the rage right now because people think they've found something cool with uh, Boseju and uh, Karn, but I don't know about that. I mean, I've tried Karnza lists before, and they just have really, really struggled for me. I mean, bad.
So, yeah, guys, uh, been pretty interesting games. Um, you know, we lost to Jund because I punted away. Defeated Invoke Despair, lost to Affinity. A lot of Affinity lately. And if just defeated Karnza, the pawns with Karn, which I'm not a big fan of, honestly. Uh, I've tried it, and it just, it, it really hurts your sideboarding. That's the one thing I really hated, was your sideboard is relatively weak. And then, um, you know, just other stuff like that. Man, it looks like nobody wants to play. I may have to end this league. It's almost, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be playing, I mean, this is going to be one of the longest leagues ever. For real. One of the longest leagues we've ever played. Here we go. He was last seen playing four color Omnath. Um, I guess. All right, that's getting, uh, that's getting unholy heated. Hope I don't get punished by another dash ragavan. Nope. Okay. Oh, you don't like that? Come on. Get it on holy heat. Wow. 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 What the fuck? Need a top deck like a uh, yeah. Need a top deck like a uh, ground lock. That yeah, that's not even gonna help me. Alrighty, well that was fast. All right, trying to grab those terminates, folks. Uh, terminate. Uh, spell bomb. Get rid of, and maybe cling to dust. Get rid of some drowns. Maybe. I mean, I don't even know how to side for this fucker. Get 
could bring in Spell Pierce as well. Maybe we don't need Cling. Something like that. Yeah. Well, at least that was fast. Took about three minutes. No. Yes. They're drawing, expressive iteration. I drive polluted delta. Fuck. I guess we really put them on their back. Go. Go bloodstain. Mire get blood crypt. Terminate. Put on top. Swing for three. They have their own terminate. Bloodstained Mire. Pottery Grave. So all I can draw are lands. Yep. Game is probably over now. Consider an exile. But Street Wraith? There's probably a shadow here. Probably a shadow and a Merc Tide. I would assume. What the fuck? Uh... 
Probably just a counter spell in hand as well. What a joke. I'm sure they got Counterspell. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Um, I drew mostly lands that match. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About half my lands in 16 cards. What's going on? All right, at least that one was fast. But no, I could not go three and two. Got, I got to sell for two and three, but I think it was a much more successful league than I had the last few times. Um, at least I felt like even the ones I lost, I, I knew most of the time what was going on. Um, most of the time. And, uh, you know, I mean, this is an incredibly difficult deck to run. And I, I think I, I got it a little bit there. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, let's do some shout-outs here. Uh, shout-outs to Thek Gage, Manure Butt, Bleak Oblique, Wagner MTG. Uh, who else we got here? Uh, uh, Lion Rose. Uh... And the MTG bot and the Night Bar for keeping me company. And also, uh, massive shout outs to Thek Gage and Manure Butt for the resubs. Thek Gage for 10 months and Manure Butt for 5 months. Thank you guys so much, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, I appreciate everyone who watched, whether live on Twitch or on demand on YouTube. Now, if you watched on Twitch, please consider following. If you watched on YouTube, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. That'd be really great. I um, hope you enjoyed today's content. Uh, I'll be back on Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more Grixis action. Might be the last time I play Grixis for some time. Uh, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed Kaido. Not gonna lie, I've enjoyed Kaido Shizuki. I think it's a good card. I like the fit in this deck, and honestly, I like this build. I do. And Cling the Dust was good today too. Uh, I like the one copy, uh, but you know, I it's such a difficult deck, and I just don't learn it that well. I think one croaks have felt better than two, honestly. I really, I mean, I wouldn't have thought that, but I like, I liked it more because, I don't know, just croaks is not that good unless it's escaping, honestly. I mean, it's just the overpriced discard spell, you know, and modern at least. Um, it's like agonizing remorse, but worse. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, everybody be safe out there. Eat some good food, drink some good beverages, and spend some time with your sweetheart and your loved ones. That's what matters most. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on Thursday Live. Um, for the people who like to watch a video of me before the Thursday live stream, I do have something coming in the works, so get hyped for that. It is not Grixis. It's something I did a few days ago to make up for the day I'm not going to be here. And uh, I will catch you all on Thursday, okay, everybody? You know, thank you so much for everything you do. All right, everybody. Peace!